Hey people, this is just a relatively quick video about the recent French intervention in Mali, West Africa, and why I support that intervention. Now, um, if you don't know the situation there, what's happened is in about mid-2012, uh, an organisation called Ansardin, which is an Islamist organisation, um, took advantage of political unrest in the country to take over northern Mali and they have to pronounce out the state of Asawad. Um, and basically what's happening is that this is sort of coinciding with uh, another conflict that's in Mali which is the Tuareg Rebellion. There's been various Tuareg Rebellions in previous years but basically this organisation Ansardine has declared itself sympathetic to Al-Qaeda um, and they're an Islamist organisation with a very hardline theocratic agenda for Mali. Um, so far reports suggest several hundred people have been killed in this conflict um, but there is a chance it could be a lot worse. Um, basically I believe this is a justified decision. It's a case of preemptive action. Now I would compare this to another situation in the 1990s when the Taliban took over Afghanistan in 1996 um, after years of civil war because they took it in the power vacuum in that situation after years of internal conflict with the Mujahideen and the Northern Alliance they uh, took over Afghanistan now for five years 1996 to 2001 the Taliban basically put Afghanistan into uh, five years of slavery especially for Afghan women but also Afghan men and Afghanistan generally. Those are five years of hell. Um, I think if you have any doubt about that, not only do you need to look at the numerous human rights reports on the Taliban regime's period in power, the notorious executions in the Ghazi Stadium, but also um, I, I think the film The Kite Runner is a good indication of what life under the Taliban was like. Now, this isn't a video about the war in Afghanistan, the current conflict there. Um, I still believe the decision to intervene in Afghanistan was the right one, although I do think now uh, there has to be an exit strategy because it cannot go on forever. But I'm talking specifically about Mali here. Um, I believe President Hollande has made the right decision. It's very important to look at some of the context here. Firstly, this is not a colonialist adventure because the Malian government has requested French help. Um, now, I, I suspect there will be people who will try and say this is a colonialist thing um, because basically um, France was a former colonial power of Mali. But there's several factors that are important. Um, President Hollande is hardly a right wing colonialist. He recently made a trip to Algeria and effectively um, made a very public and historic statements about um, shame at some of the French actions in Algeria. Um, so that shows the doctrine of President Hollande. He's not an imperialist. Um, he is responding to a request by the Malian government themselves for intervention. Mali is a very poor country, one of the poorest in the world. And the Malian government, and the Malian, Malian military, simply cannot cope with uh, the threat that they are facing from this Islamist group, who I'm sure have support from outside Mali. So this is a pragmatic step. And it isn't just for the people of Mali. Although it is for them because any Islamist takeover will sentence the Malian people to what the Afghan people faced in the takeover of the Taliban in 1996. Um, this is a preemptive action. You know, one of the main criticisms of Western countries was, oh, well, for years you ignored the Taliban. Well, this time um, they're acting before this happens. They're acting before Ansar Ansar Dain, uh takes over Mali. And I suspect there is going to be a conflict. I, I don't know if it will be prolonged or whatever, but the point is they are not ignoring the situation. There is British help as well, but no boots on the ground, so to speak. Um, so I believe France is doing the right thing. It's acting before the situation gets worse. It's taking this problem head on because it's a threat to um, wherever Al-Qaeda gets a power base, it is a threat. And if you think otherwise, you're just a fool. This is not... This conflict with Al-Qaeda, you can call it the war on terror, whatever. 
I don't believe it's a black and white situation. There are some people who believe that Western countries should simply give up, should simply allow Al-Qaeda to do what they want. Now, there's a lot of con controversy over certain aspects of the war on terror, especially the war in Iraq. And I continue to believe that was a massive mistake. Um, because Iraq was a secular country prior to intervention. It's now um, a hotbed of sectarian violence. And there's a lot of other controversies with Iraq. But this is different. This is a situation whereby you have an Islamist group which are clearly threatening to take over a country, a very poor country, um, in the way that the Taliban did in Afghanistan. And think of the alternative. Let's say, for the sake of argument, France rejects Bamako's request and says, no, we're not getting involved. Then you have Ansardine takes over. Al-Qaeda establishes a stronghold in West Africa, therefore presents a threat to um, the West, basically. Wherever Al-Qaeda has a hotbed, you can guarantee they're not content with just taking over the country. They will actively pose a threat to... Um, to any secular countries as well. This is a fact. It is part of the ideology of spreading the Ummah violently. For those who don't know, the Ummah is the international nation of Islam. Um, and by the way, uh, some of Ansardine's record already has been vandalizing, vandalizing historic sites, uh, such as ancient tombs in uh, Timbuktu. Uh, and the reason for that is because those tombs belong to Sufi Islam, which they consider apostates. Um, Sufi Islam is a mystical branch of Islam, which Ansardin uh, considers apost apostates, infidels. Um, this is a good example of their track record. And just in case they uh, take over Mali, believe me, it will be a theocratic hellhole. And they will sentence all Malians to life under this theocratic hellhole. Um, Malians who are Sufis will um, find themselves in a very dangerous situation. Malian women will find themselves subjected to the same sort of treatment as Afghan women were. So I believe this intervention is entirely justified. I do hope it doesn't, it's not a prolonged war, we can't know for certain. Um, I hope casualties are minimal. Um, and it's important to note that the UN Baxis mission, um, Operation Serval, that's the name of the French mission. Basically, um, just quoting here. Yeah, Ban Ki-moon, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon hoped on 12th of January the French government's decision would be consistent with the spirit of UN Security Council Resolution 2085. Um, Yeah, I'm um, just reading off Wikipedia here. So, Basically, um, the simple situation is that uh, we cannot allow this to happen. And, you know, to some people, I believe, have their heads in the sand. There are those who oppose all intervention of any kind. Now, that's just incredibly naive. The same people will probably turn around and say, Oh, look, you've done nothing when the Islamists took over Mali. Um we live in an interconnected world, and I strongly believe it's the responsibility of powerful countries to help poor countries when those poor countries require help. And this is a classic example. Another situation was in Libya. Now, Libya is not quite like Mali. Libya is a wealthier country. But I believe the Libyan intervention in 2011 was, again, entirely justified because you had Gaddafi killing thousands of Libyans, um, in a brutal crackdown and that was a situation which again I believe demanded intervention. When David Cameron and Nicolas Sarkozy arrived in Tripoli they were treated like liberators because essentially that's what they were, that's what the Libyan people wanted. Now it's true that a brutal civil war followed but what would have been the alternative? Just let Gaddafi kill people? Let Gaddafi commit genocide against his own people? I don't think so. And let's not forget um, Colonel Gaddafi had been directly responsible for the Lockerbie terrorist attack, which was the worst ever terrorist attack on British soil, which had killed dozens of Americans and a number of Britons as well. Um, I believe it was justified. 
and that was a successful campaign. Gaddafi got toppled. The war ended relatively soon afterwards. And yes, it's true the situation is not perfect now, but there has not been an Islamist takeover in Libya. Um, it's true there is an ongoing violent insurgency, low level, but that was to be expected. You know, you cannot nation build overnight. You cannot have an intervention and expect everything to be okay. That's how the world works. Um, and I just reject the idea that when these things are happening, the world should turn away. I think that's an odious sort of position to take. Um, now, it's true that there was a certain degree of hypocrisy from the West and the Libyan situation. Um, certainly for years, Western leaders had cozied up to Gaddafi. But in 2011, they'd done the right thing. You simply cannot have a situation where brutal dictators are allowed to do what they want. Having said that, not every situation is the same. That's why I don't think intervention in Syria would be the right approach. Um, and I still don't believe we absolutely know how the Free Syrian Army is going to fill that vacuum. Um, there may be secularists and moderates within them, but there's also Islamists. So for now, I don't think intervention in Syria would be the right thing. I know Syrians might be outraged by that because, you know, what's happening in Syria is horrible. 60,000 people dead plus. But what I'd like to say is not every situation is the same. Mali is not Syria. An intervention in Mali is justified. Intervention in Syria may be counterproductive. Um, I just reject this notion that, oh, it's their business. Just let them get on with it. That's an odious, selfish position to take. Um, I mean, in 1994, was it right that the world ignored the genocide in Rwanda? I think not. And I'm not saying what would happen in Mali would be genocide, but would be a theocratic takeover. So for now, I am saying I support this mission. If it turns out to be a massive failure, I may make another video and say, look, I was wrong. But from what I can see, from my reading of the situation, the French are intervening at a time which is right. It's preemptive action. It's not allowing the system to take over, which would make things a whole lot worse. Because if Mali can be taken over, then what's to say Niger can't, Algeria can't, and so on. You know, the world's a complex place. And the idea that powerful countries should just sit back and do nothing is a stupid idea, in my opinion. Um, so for now, I'm going to say I support this mission. I hope the violence is minimal. I hope civilian casualties are as minimal as possible. Tragically, people die in war. But the French intervention, in my opinion, is justified. And the Libyan intervention in 2011 was justified. There's other situations which are counterproductive, such as Iraq. But when people read off this list, like, oh, the West intervenes, uh, Afghanistan, Libya, Iraq, da, da, da. And then they, they act like it's all the same situation. That's just stupid. It's incredibly ignorant. You cannot compare what's the situation now in Mali to Iraq in 2003. It's not the same at all. I'll leave it there.